five, four, three, two. It's now time for the infamous Chop Awards. Since we started with defense last week, let's go with offense this week. I started off offensively. I'm giving my Chop Awards, and I'm going to chop it in half. I'm going to give it to, uh, what's his name, Williams, Dante Williams, what's his name? D'Angelo Williams, the Angelo, out of in Memphis. D'Angelo Williams and Jonathan Stewart. Now, we all agree. We all agree. We all said, hey, man, we want to see them cats get out and run because we all said they got a cold-ass running game. And if them motherfuckers, damn it, if they didn't bring their running game when they got off the bus, <laughs> they brought their running game. Uh, Williams had, what, 160, 186 or something yeah. like that? Total combined was like almost uh, 300. 300. So, I mean, both of them went over 100. Both of them, I think, scored twice. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they did the most. They did the most. And that was really impressive. They took, they made a Tampa Bay defense that is a solid, strong, good tackling defense. And they made a lot of them motherfuckers on Tampa Bay not want to tackle. You saw dudes taking blocks like, ah, oh, you got me. Yeah. You know, trying to get out the way. You saw cats doing the Olay tackles where they let the cat run by and then grab him as he's going by to bring him down. It, it was it was real impressive to see how hard them boys was running. They get my offensive chop of the week award. KP. Uh, mine goes to uh, Tavares Jackson for the simple fact that this man came in after losing his spot to Gus Farad. That name just sucks. So the fact that you came in, man, and you, you played your game, you held your own, even though Detroit was playing hard, you came in, you uh, let a score, uh, rolled out, you did a good thing, you didn't make a mistake, and now you learn it. You, learn, you understand the whole process. So I give big ups to you. Uh, that's my chop award for you, Offensive Chop Award, and man, just keep it going. That way you get your spot back. My Offensive Chop Award, I gotta give it to Mr. Westbrook. The big 3-6 for the Philadelphia Eagles. The man is a Iron Man. There's only one big 3-6, but he retired. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't talking about the bus. I, I like Jerome better as I came from. Anyway, Michael Westbrook played a hell of a game. Receiving touchdown, rushing touchdown. And I think he set some record for the Eagles. I'm not sure. Shop shop, keep it real. Well, I won't be reading no stats. Westbrook, I checked him out. They beat the Giants, they handle their business. Big part because of you. You give them an offensive chop award. We on defense now. No, yeah, defense. Defense. <laughs> defense. But, 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 God, my bad. Um, I give mine to the touchdown, the defensive touchdown man. This motherfucking man, every time he touches the ball, it seems like he's scoring. Uh, my man, Ed Reed. I mean, man, picks, fumbles, uh, pump returns, just you name it. If he gets his hand on the ball, it's probably going for six. So I give my defensive chop to Ed Reed. He picked off, I think, two, and he and he uh, forced the fumble. He ripped the ball loose, picked up the fumble, and scored on that. Um, this week, though, he probably gonna get knocked the fuck out by Heinz Ward. Mm -hmm. But you know, any other time, man, Ed Reed is the most exciting cat to watch at safety. Next to my man Palomaro, he's a nice cat to watch too. I give my chop award defensively to Ed. Read Baltimore Ravens. Oh, uh, all right. My defensive chop award. I'm gonna just say uh, Patrick Willis of the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, Frisco. I was really, really surprised the way they played against uh, the Jets. And I didn't get all of his stats when I was listening to the game when I was rolling. Uh, and this boy was all over making tackles. I don't know all his final tackles. Can I get his stats? Uh, Hood Guru. He was all over the field. So. I give it to Patrick Willis once again, and hey man, I'm rooting for you, Singletary, so you can get this job. You deserve it. You got them playing. They actually believe it. And what? I don't know, but they believe it. Right. So, yeah. Week 14. Well, uh, I want to stay on the theme of uh, defense because this is the defensive chop award. Keep going. My defensive chop award goes to the other Cromartie, Rogers Cromartie, of the Arizona Cardinals. Showing it like you can do like your brother, picking it off, taking it to the house. Not only does my chop award goes to you defensively, yep. I just want to tip my hat. Maybe a new segment. Tip my hat to the Arizona Cardinals for clinching their playoff spot. The first doing time what they had to what? do. 80, 90, 
in a long ass time. Yeah. Long time. Yeah. So, Rogers Camardi, you give my defensive chop, but Arizona as a whole, hands up to you, bro. Patrick Willis had three tackles and three assists. Six. I mean, he's, he's there. He's yeah. there. So, you know, he did his thing. Three by himself and then three helped out of him. Sweet bump. Once again, we are in high definition. What's this shit called? It's just high def. Oh, not, not no punk hat on me now. Come on. What, 1080 BPH or whatever they call it. It's the, on the YouTube. YouTube. Now, yeah. No, that's the, 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 the uh, YouTube. BPS or whatever. B, 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 B. First they came out with the iDev. Now they got 16 by 9. What the hell is that? Hello. Who's good getting uh, paid? Anyway, y'all, we, we handled it. Right. We handled it. Yeah, we tied to the motherfucker. So, yeah, 